Well, folks, we got a Jeep Liberty here. It's got the big 3.7. Lady tells me it's got a horrible knocking noise in it. Only when it's moving, I guess, she says. Not when it's idling. She says she thinks it's the front drive shaft. So let's go find out. Asked her if the noise was obvious. She said, oh yeah. Let's see here. Here we go. Got an engine light and a tire light on it. Noise goes away. All right, very interesting. What does that mean? Let's uh, oops, we'll find reverse. Turn around here. Drop her and drive. So if I hold my foot on the brake, just lightly here. drive noise doesn't change all right let's go see what's falling apart on this thing not sure yet See anything immediate that looks like it's falling right off. Oh, I think she might be right though. But dry shaft. <laughs> Let's see. No? Okay, I thought that was looking like it was sitting a little low in there. Uh, well, yeah, it's beat up and clunky, but I don't know if that's her noise. So bit of pinion seal leak there. Well, let's give her a shake down here. So that's kind of weird. Uh, front end is tight. No loose ball joints, tie rod end, brake calipers, everything appears tight for what it is. The only anomaly I see is, is the front drive shaft up on the CV portion is tore out. Uh, I ran it on the lift and of course it doesn't make the noise. I put it in uh, four wheel drive on the lift sounds normal you know nothing I don't see anything funky so I guess with all that being said I say we unhook the front drive shaft and take it for a shakedown and well see if we have any change the part about this that doesn't sit well with me is the fact that when you hit the brakes the noise goes away I need a little more uh, pizzazz here. I feel like I've never been out. There we go. Now I don't know. We should be okay just to leave that hanging. Just for a quick test drive, I'll, I'll drop it in drive, make sure there's no residual spinning here. I'll be honest with you, I don't think this is it because even though that boot in here is ripped, there's not a lot of play in it. Just all the grease is gone. I think we can leave it right here 
I don't believe the uh, transfer case is going to spin that. No, I think we'll be okay. I think it's in the left rear. Boy, sitting in here, it sounds like it's in the left front. Zoinks! <laughs> there we go. Man, I thought it sounded like a freaking loose wheel. I should check the back when it was in. That's an easy fix. <laughs> Your wheel's falling off, lady. Well, let's see if there's any damage to the wheel. Or the studs. Got one new wheel stud on it. It must be it wasn't banging around that long. studs look pretty good. Let's look at the wheel. Oh, the inside of the wheel doesn't look too bad either. Usually it'll beat these things right out egg shaped. Uh, this particular wheel, or I should say Chrysler aluminum wheels in general, if you're going to have a car come in with a loose wheel, 95% of the time it's a Dodge. I mean, it's usually an alloy wheel. I mean, it's to the point where we, we over torque them in our shop. Because the spec on them is only like 100, 98, something like that. Usually we go like 120, 130 because these suckers will always come loose on you. You have to be really careful with these uh, Chrysler aluminum wheels. I've probably mentioned that in a dozen other videos. Right, let's go get a torque wrench. So spec at 95. Like I say, we usually do 120 which barely feels tight. I don't know if it's just our climate or what it is, but like I say, if one comes in with a loose wheel, you can guarantee it's gonna be one of these. I'm gonna check all the rest of them. Yeah, that one was tight. The rest of these were a little bit off. Probably find us all the way around at that. Last test drive. Well, at least it didn't ruin the wheel. You usually run a, a wheel loose on an alloy that smokes the center right out of them. And steel wheels, it ruins the wheel and usually eats the lug nuts right apart. Wheel bolts rather. That's that folks, uh, not a hard fix. Could have been a hundred times worse for this lady had the wheel left her. Don't leave me loose wheel, it's a song, right? Um, so yeah, that's a very 
common noise, I, I shouldn't say common, but it's a very characteristic noise of a loose wheel. Like, clang, 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 clang. Usually it changes with side to side sway. And I, I'd like to say I don't know that noise very well, but that's a lie. Uh, we do get several cars a year that come in with loose wheels. Um, the best case I ever had was on a Chevy truck. <laughs> the guy took it to another shop. They replaced the entire front differential because of this knocking sound. Got done with the vehicle, still made a knocking sound. He brought it here. I checked it out for him and it was just a loose wheel in the back. Uh, he was a little bit pissed, <laughs> to say the least, because it cost him, I don't know, 2000 some dollars for his front axle assembly. And all I had to do was, you know, at that point, I ended up replacing his wheel because it was so bad. Um, however, like I say, if you own a Chrysler, say, early 2000s to, I don't know, whatever year they quit using this style wheel, I mean, it was on the Caravans, the Liberties, the Dodge pickups, um, very very common that we would see these wheels come loose and like i say in our shop we always over torque them uh and it would be a good practice i'll probably have this lady just sat back you know put 100 miles on her so let me double check it and that would be the best bet so anyways the other thing i know it would be the best bet be best bet if you go in that comment section leave me a question comment the concern the nc the facebook and uh, let me know your loose wheel story we probably all have one. And just remember, viewers, I can do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching.